I wanted to ask you more broadly, especially myself not being a biologist, what do you think is the most misunderstood concept in evolutionary biology? Well, I think there are several. One is the underestimation of the amount of time involved. And so people sometimes don't, just don't grasp that there's these huge amounts of time. So they, you hear people saying things like, well, I believe in evolution when I see a monkey give birth to a man kind of thing. Um, the, because they don't recognize the, 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 the time involved. Um, then again, I think there's the, um, the, the improbability. If they, they, many of them think that evolution is a matter of chance um, because they think the only alternative to design is chance. And therefore, um, you do a sort of probability calculation, the probability of getting um, all the bits in the right place whether it's a molecule or, the, or, a, or a body, the probability of getting all the bits in, in the right place is, is negligible. I mean, it's, you know, one in billions. Um, and they don't realize that it happened gradually. And, and you don't suddenly get something like an eye, all, fall, all the bits falling into place in one fell swoop. What you have to get, it, what you have is a, a gradual improvement from a, a very simple pr primitive eye, a gradual improvement step by step by step. Um, I, in an earlier book, I, I used the analogy of what I called Mount Improbable, um, where you, you have a, a great big vertical cliff, and on top of the cliff is, a, is an eye. And the, the idea of, of making an eye in one fell swoop is equivalent to jumping from the bottom of the cliff to the top. In, and you can't, obviously you can't do that. So you go around the other side of the mountain, and you find there's a nice gentle slope. And you, you just creep up the slope gradually. And that's what really happened, because you get to the bottom of the slope, you have um, hardly an eye at all, just say a light-sensitive spot. And then you have a sheet of light-sensitive cells, and then you have th that sheet bending into a slight cup, um, which is, is, can't form an image, but sort of gives us kind of a vague idea of what direction light or dark is coming from. And then the cup starts to close in like that, gradually, gradually, gradually closing in. And you get um, a pinhole camera, which is a crude image-forming device. It's very dim, it's very inefficient, but it is a kind of image. And then a lens forms by, uh, to begin with, any kind of transparent gubbins in the, in the, inside it, which acts as a slight focusing, has a slight focusing effect, and then that gradually, gradually improves and so on. So that the, you have a gradient all the way up the slope of Mount Improbable to the top, where you have this very, <coughs> very beautifully designed thing with its imperfections as well. 